Welcome to this week's edition of The Investor in You. In this session, I want to talk about what people mean by equity in your house. What is equity? This word is often used in connection with a situation where part of your property or your house is funded by a mortgage. But equally, it is also okay to use this word where the value of your property has not been funded at all. You're personally funded for it. You could also use the word equity because realistically, equity is not necessarily related to a situation where someone borrows. What they're simply saying is that what part of the property property belongs to you after paying the loans and liabilities that you have. It is possible that when you buy a property after some years, the property goes up in value. It's expected. Sometimes the property also goes down. So you might have technically a negative equity. Your equity might actually go down. Meaning to say, in as much as we expect that the property value will go up, we should also expect that the property value will go down. So equity is that part of the value of the property that remains to you after you have paid all your liabilities in connection with the property. In, in a nutshell, it could go either way. It could go up, it could go down. When it goes up, we say you have a positive net equity. If it goes down, then your equity has gone down, you have negative equity. So take for instance, someone who goes to the bank, borrows money to buy a property. And after two years, the value of the property increases. Say you buy a property for 1 million. And after two years, the property increases to 1.2 million. If in this particular instance, assuming that you had paid about 200,000, that means your mortgage is now, instead of 1 million, is now 800. But now what has happened after two years, the value of your property is actually instead increased to 1.2 million. That now means your equity in the house has increased by 400,000. Why 400,000? is because what you can now sell the house for is now 1.2 million. And what you actually owe on the house, including the cost of selling the house and other areas associated with the house is now 800,000. So if you say 1.2 million minus 800,000, that's 400,000. So the equity is now 400,000. That's pretty much what people will be talking about. In other words, what is yours? Uh, to put it in layman's language in this house. Because we know too well that you finance a house. The bank will always put a lien on the property, meaning to say you can't sell the house until you pay them first. In as much as we have bought this house, helped you to buy this house or we bought it under your name and we have registered it under your name, you don't have control of the house until you satisfy the financial obligations that we have si you have signed up to in connection with this house. So in other words, if the bank gives you the whole 1 million and the house is just valued to be 1 million, you have no equity. Pretty much the house belongs to the bank, but you have liabilities, you have financial obligations that you have acquired as a result of buying this house. But if if you pay down your loan and your house also happens to increase in value, then you begin to accumulate equity because equity is that which now belongs to you. If you pay down the loan from 1 million to 800,000, that means you have created, you have fulfilled part of your obligation to the bank. But equally, if the market values your house to be now 1.2, what it means is that your equity, what is now yours, has increased from 800,000 to 1.2. 2 million. So that is what is equity. So does this necessarily only refer to houses that are funded by the bank or does it also relate to properties that are also bought in cash? True. Uh, the, the main reason why people often talk about equity in connection with funded houses is because there is someone who is interested in that house. But if you have financed your house in cash, in other words, you paid the whole amount, uh, the house is 1 million, you come and you pay the 1 million from your own resources and you didn't need to finance uh, the house. What it means is the value of the house increases from 1 million to 1.2 2 million. Your equity increases also from 1 million to 1.2 million. So pretty much the bottom line is that although the word equity is often used in connection with properties that are funded uh, by mortgages, it also applies to properties that are funded in cash. It just happens that most of the time people talk about the equity in your house in connection with uh, the bank because often people want to use the, the equity to fund other properties as well. That's why 
this conversation and this word tends to be uh, used more, but equally it applies to where uh, houses are bought in cash and there's no need for external funding. So I would like to know, do you know the value of your property? How much equity have you generated so far? Is your equity increasing or is your equity decreasing? If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so so that we can have uh, future conversations together.